everyone, and welcome to DevStream 131. We're a man short, but we're all here but that man on DevStream 131. It's been about six weeks, so we're a little out of practice, but we are very excited to go over a lot over the next hour or more. We're a bit late because we had to just do some last-minute things. However, we will go as long as we need to go to get through everything we have planned today. So if you're here now, your account is linked on both Twitch. The Orkin Reactor exists for Warframes. The Exilus mod will exist, the adapter will exist for Warframes, and maybe something new for weapons. Mm -hmm. So adding a utility slot for weapons to give those lesser used uh, utility mods on weapons a place to go. Now there's a lot of um, a lot that would go into this because you only have so much mod capacity per weapon. Some of the mods take more capacity than others. I can fit this build just fine, uh, but depending on what other Exilus I wanted to put on there, I'd have to make some more forma changes. So this is something that if you wanted, like I do, a silent boar prime <laughs> that is going to wreak <laughs> fire and <laughs> devastation on the enemies, you could do something like that. So hopefully, chat, I am seeing, we're also adding the ability for you to get more config slots. Okay, great. So this is, I think you can have up to six per item. Okay. So you can keep going. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, you can name them, and you can create problems for yourself if you name them all too long. Yep. Good. <laughs> but you can also now have more looks. So if you're someone that is really interested in changing the look of your Warframe up to multiple times, you can have three more appearance slots. Um, and if you are more interested in the loadout version, we've changed the way heat procs work, which in... Oh, yes, we're playing with the idea of changing yeah, heat procs, yes. Yes, so a heat status chance right now, you get a damage over time and they panic and the damage over time doesn't stack in the same way that others do. So that is going to be changing, or we're yes. experimenting with it changing. And then and they also have a uh, armor strip that goes with them as well that we're playing with. Mm -hmm. um, so as they're on fire, they'll have uh, reduction in armor. Uh, we're playing whether or not it's temporary or if it's permanent, yeah. uh, and whether or not it is all removed at the very beginning or removed over the time that the proc is active. Are you high? Yeah. Oh no. Spicy. Yeah, spicy, there you go. So spicy. <laughs> <laughs> spicy, and you, yeah, with Grendel's release, meatballs coming, so you can literally spicy have a meatball. spicy, spicy meatball. Wow, um, that was like my vindaloo the other day, <laughs> and the other morning. So her oh. is a custom meter that shows her immolation state. What this does. It's really hard to see on the screen, but it's down on the bottom right. You can see it. Mm -hmm. So immolation, when active, depending on how you're modding, 50% um, DR, and then as it builds, the DR increases. DR standing for damage reduction. Yes, so as it builds up, um, it has a passive build. Um, so as you cast her one and her four, those add to the fill rate of, of the meter. So if you um, overdo it with those two, you can fill it too quickly. Mm -hmm. I damage. hit three right now, I'm gonna throttle that meter down a bit, and there it goes. So you're yeah. basically, it's like a metagame within to manage that meter for, again, the best damage reduction and the damage output on her other abilities. Yeah. So Does her two have a mana drain? It just has a cast cost. It's more of an AOE ability now. Um, so it's mostly about armor stripping now and kind of CC. So the idea is you can go in and you can go into a group of enemies and you can cast her uh, fire blast and basically knock. Yeah, maybe so from a bit of a distance. All right. Yeah, yeah. So, so anyone. This is a simplified kind of world on fire. It's more focused on. Uh, giant nuke kind of in what's in view of, of your character, uh, but it also starts them on fire. So as anyway. the fire grows, they also light other things on fire. So kind of trying to keep that an inferno world on fire idea. So as those characters, if they were moving around, if they walked into another character, you'll see the fire around them grow. They'll catch them on fire as well. So it kind of has a spreading ability on the enemies versus around just you. Yes. So doing all of these with them. Um, so pleasing. It is so satisfying. <laughs> Oops. I said she got like a whole cast rework as well. Yeah, all she the animations was, are. She's one of the most neglected animation wise. Yeah. Well, her and Bobon. Oh, Bobon was very Bobon was really bad. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So all of so that's her. That's yeah. a much faster um, cast animation as well yes. for her three. Yeah. yeah. So her three. Um, all right. You can have okay. your very okay. own bat um, ephemera, but you have very, to earn it. So yep. necros. Yep. If you liked the boss fight with uh, Nightwave, the emissary, the final one, we're going to have a version of that as an event. Hopefully, all platforms. So yes, there you go. A lot of the stuff is work in progress and stuff yes. that's yep. in play. So Tesla basically became a rolling version. You'd cast it right at his feet, which yeah. is very helpful for showing that. Yep. Right. Try again. Try again. I am yep. holding my mouth. My mouse is not. There we go. 
So they'll go. Yeah. Four. Which also has cool animations now. So that's holding. That's the hold cast. That's the hold, yep. There you go. So it's a mobile CC that follows you around once the enemies yeah, are gone. Yeah, so once those guys are uh, dead, those will then obviously start to follow you around again. Yeah, you can see them there. So That one's going back to work because he knows his job isn't done. Yeah. So the idea behind Mine Lair has always kind of hopefully been utility. So um, some of these are still work in progress, but the idea behind... Which one are you throwing? So, that so this is, is the... Is, I call it the sticky rip line. So the idea here is it's a, it's a trap. It pulls AI in and kind of takes them out of the fight. So you can use these uh, in combination with Bastille. So if enemies are just outside of the range of Bastille, you can kind of cast these and they'll pull them into Bastille. Um, or you can pull them up into the geometry. Uh, fun one is you can stick to other. It also synergizes with uh, Bastille very well or just kind of locks down a, a point. It's basically the, um, just radial damage. It's kind of uh, shooting out nails and, and, and radius. Yes. <laughs> Doing damage. Yes. Yeah. You, it's basically a boost pad for speed. Um, they're basically timed out that you know in the open world you can actually just keep casting them in front of you and keep, uh, yep. keep going quicker and quicker. Uh, the one thing with <laughs> mine layer is we also drop the uh, casting. The little grenade that is going to attach to me right away, but any ally that picks it up. Any ally, yeah. So you can toss these around the map and allies as they pass, it will uh, jump and stick to them. So this creates also an aura around you that gives everyone around you uh, a damage boost. Yes. Uh, currently. I'll say as a hint ahead of time. So you can call down an orbital strike now. So you place your orbital strike point wherever that ends up is where the strike hits from yeah. above. So the idea behind this one, I think, was to help um, with his damage output. He didn't. He was really kind of lacking any sort of heavy damage. So this is quite high damage in a very focused spot, which I think synergizes really well with mm -hmm. uh, the rework of Bastille. Yes. You tap four. You're <laughs> now going to place out what you what you know as Vauban's Bastille. So that is his current third ability on the live build. Here it is as part of his fourth. And you can place multiples. So if I wanted to, I could go over here. But there's a catch, isn't there? What is the catch? So say I'm doing my thing. I'm looking. If I hold four, it turns into Vortex. Yes. Yes. So Which all... Synergizes really nice. Oh! oh. 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 <laughs> He's going in. They're getting drawn. They're drawn in. So yeah. if throw I were it, to... Throw it. Throw, throw it. Throw it. Throw it. Three. Throw it. Throw it. Throw it. Throw strike. Come on, dude. There we go. <laughs> so you he broke the game. I broke, I broke <laughs> the game. Good thing. Good thing I broke it. But you can also so you can, yep. sorry, go ahead. You can also just do direct vortex by holding four. So yep. you can do. You, you don't have to do the Bastille phase. You can just do the vortex phase by holding four. But yep. you could also just. Do and if you let the uh, Bastille run out its full duration, it actually collapses down to a vortex for a very brief period of time as well. Yep. And standing inside the inside the Bastille is a team buff as well. It's an armor strip from enemies as well. So you do the their, their armor is gone. You can see yeah. the yeah. yeah. So as they're caught in Bastille, they're actually requests from the last time where you work we changed your abilities. They're really minor, just trimming animation. <laughs> Trimming animation, um, oh. cast animations, and they're that all upper sense. body only now, except for her ultimate. Her ultimate continues to be uh, full body animation. The, the rest Jeff's work continues to be chopped away. I know. Sorry, oh, Jeff. trim in, trim start. Trim. Uh, yeah, razor flies. Animate, 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 animate. 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 Yeah. Faster, yeah. faster. Yeah. Uh, razor flies will be able to pick up tributes for you. Uh, you will have more razor fly cap if you have all your tributes active. Each active tribute from her tribute ability gives you an increased razor fly. And again, they can pick them up for you to keep that going. And then her thorns tribute is also going to be damage reduced, not just reflected, because she's very um, squishy as a frame, which is intentional. This was us taking our lich down head on. We had all his stats. I had my blade out to take out the kuga lich. Mm -hmm. And that's when people <laughs> were first introduced to the idea of kuga liches. Is that you? That's, that's you. That, that's a, from Tenocon. That's actually you? Yes. That was you playing it? Yeah. Uh, so this is Jara Netta. He's a Grenier underling, and he's risen. <laughs> uh, so this is an internal dev tool. Part of this will be facing uh, towards you guys as well. Um, but the key... But not the specific yeah. menu, though. Key. This is an yeah. internal yeah. dev debug tool, but it's showing yeah. you... Yeah, you'll, you'll, but you'll be able to kind of inspect the dude. Some, some of these things are obviously internal uh, phrases, so... This is uh, a system ours. You can see this one's got 
a bit of rhino, rhino stuff. They take, the, they take a power from a kind of a group of warframes. Yep. So it isn't every single warframe has a related uh, Kuvalich, but they're kind of in the ballpark. Yeah, and with time, well, I think we'll add more Lich yep. variants yep. so that each warframe or, or the groups of warframes that create specific Liches will, yep. will shrink. So with time, you'll get more and more uh, variation in them. Mm -hmm. right. Yes. And so is happening, uh, not only is the enemy, uh, you know, generated by you and is, has a bunch of uh, mm -hmm. interesting, uh, unique features with them, they also have a unique weapon, which will have their name, uh, potentially an innate weapon bonus. As you can see here, this scythe has an has a innate cold bonus. Uh, they can rank higher than regular weapons in the game. And if you mm -hmm. track down uh, Tammy, Oprah, and, uh, and uh, cool. destroy her, then you will get her weapon. If you Tammy Oprah's, yeah, yep. Tammy, you'll have Tammy Oprah's sight with an innate cold bonus. Yeah, yeah, with an innate uh, cold bonus. Yeah, so you will have uh, a choice, however, to convert uh, Tammy Oprah into a uh, a follower. Isn't that the best? Uh, with her stubba, yep. heat heat bonus stubba uh, can rank higher than thirty. Does not affect mastery because this is a procedural system. So there's really kind of an unlimited number of weapons here. And by unlimited, I'm not talking about uh, Borderlands-type permutations, but definitely a lot of interesting uh, possibilities. Their, her life, uh, and they, she will become a follower. And uh, a bit like a Mysterious Stranger perk in the Fallout games, uh, there's a chance for her to come when you mo need it most mm -hmm. to assist you. Uh, yeah, that's it. So, uh, you also have some videos just to show how this is actually going to look. I'm going to generate more. some more. You're going to generate yeah, some more. I'm going to generate some more. Oh, our A. Uh, yep. Who's this? A Nerno Oh, a some broken IK. Hey, there you yeah, go. Yeah, some oh. broken my arm. <laughs> broke my arm. See, the see, Tonkor it breaks. Tonkor breaks. So. Yeah, Tonkor's got some broken IK. Uh, you can see that, really, the visuals, we've, we've hooked up, uh, yeah. you know, maybe half of, yeah, of what's coming. Yeah, there's still coming. Yep. And, of course, yep. uh, the, these are using the default green interfaces. Yep. The, the custom Kuvas, heads. The custom heads. The uh, the coup has actually changed them quite dramatically yes. physically. Yep. Oh, 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 oh I think you're in a loop now. There yeah, we go. Yeah. Hey, is that Paul? An ninja fatal. Yep. All right. Oh, the rifles so are you busted. brought some more yeah. uh, videos as well, just to show how this is going to work. If you're in a state where you Wrong. can idle in them. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Right. Yep. Yep. Rifles. Sinking. Oh, yeah, sinking. Is, yeah. Sinking was fun. Sinking yeah. was. A, yep. Sinking was a mistake. There you yeah. go. But I wanted to show also. Oh, if I can show this. So. Uh, their followers are spreading uh, in this region. Uh, so that is, you know, we won't talk too much about that, but this is part of the gameplay is to clear off the influence from their followers, yeah. uh, which leads them next into uh, their next kind of stage of evolution, mm -hmm. but also leads you in discovering how to kill them because they're, they're sort of like Warframe's version of Undead. Uh, and you need to use uh, the finisher system we showed at uh, TunnelCon in order to be able to actually yeah. ultimately Which, speaking kill of, them or convert That we showed these finishers with, so that'll be how you hack consoles and stuff as well. But the idea is that you're using these hack finishers their head. to... Hack uh, their head? Kind of get the <laughs> Kuva formula, like kind of, you know, get the Kuva formula yeah. onto your data device that you have to use to do the final kill or final save uh, when you're finally ready to kind of... Do the final confrontation with the the Kuva Kuva Lich. All right, this looks incredible, and I'm ready to use my data spike on the. And it has a weapon or a, a bonus that you're maybe not looking for, yeah. um, and you're looking for a specific weapon. You can go to your clan and actually donate at that, and then someone else from your clan can take up that Lich and and go after that. So yeah, hopefully that will help with people a little bit with the RNG of it, but also let them chase after the things that they want to as well. Well, look at that. You got I know. Peak. So this will be a new wildlife type. The plan is on the. <laughs> oh my god, it's so cute! On the plains of Eidolon. Uh, this will be. The plan is that um, it will be part, be part of the conservation system for the fun at nighttime only, of course, because this this would never go out in the daylight. But you can also, if you know a thing or two about vampirism, the only way to get one has something to do with your poor unvampiric cavat coming in, across across the path of this creature. So wait for details, uh, but Massacre. Yeah, I have it. Oh, it does! Oh, Come on nice. over, Dean. The party's about to begin. <laughs> so here we go. This is his signature melee weapon. It's 
absurd, tear and shoot through the enemies with this unusual crankshaft style greatsword, Grendel's signature weapon. Cha cha. So, this is our, our Grendel. I like, I like his little cape too. I know. This is a signature <laughs> signed in as well. Yep, yep. Someone's saying kebab sword? It's not. That's <laughs> <laughs> it's some doner. Yeah.